Warrior sweep Spurs to win West, center third straight NBA Finals undefeated. After losing Saturday to fall into a 0-2-3 hole in the 2017 Western Conference Finals, Manu Ginobili offered a simple and plain assessment of what his San Antonio Spurs needed to be able to extend their season by taking the game off the full-strength and rampaging Golden State Warriors. The fact is that it is just too tough. We are missing Kawhi's offense and defense in this series. And of course Tony, Ginobili said. For us to win, we have to play at a 10 level, and they have to play at a 7. We have to try to make them play at a 7, and play our best game. Neither happened on Monday night in San Antonio. Stephen Curry and Kevin Durant slice and dice the San Antonio defense missing its premier perimeter stopper. The Spurs once again struggled to generate consistent scoring opportunities without their primary offensive engines. The Warriors took control of game four early and never let go, shrugging off the last best shot of a determined but OW gunned Spurs team and cruising to a 1 2 9 1 1 5 closeout win. For the third straight year, Golden State has won the Western Conference and advanced to the NBA Finals. Curry led all scorers with 36 points on 14 for 24 shooting to go with 6 assists and 5 rebounds in the win, continuing the brilliant postseason run that has somewhat quietly seen him incinerate defenses like the unanimous NBA most valuable player he was a season ago. Durant was a picture of efficiency, pouring in 29 points on 10 for 13 shooting while pulling down 11 rebounds dishing for assists and delivering one hell of a highlight reel block on Spurs rookie D. Jount Murray. After missing all of March with an MCL sprain and coming back with only three games left in the regular season, and sitting out two games in the opening round with a calf strain, he too looks completely healthy, as dominant as ever, and very eager to make his return. To the finals five years after his Oklahoma City Thunder fell to LeBron James Miami Heat. Draymond Green delivered his now customary stat sheet stuffing 16 points on 10 shots, 8 rebounds, 8 assists, 2 steals and everywhere at once team defense. Andrea Wadala 7 points, 6 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 steals off the bench began to find his form late in the game after seeming sluggish and battling injury for most of the series. With the exception of Clay Thompson's continued offensive struggles 3 for 13 from the floor and persistent sloppiness with the ball 17 turnovers, 11 coming from Steph and KD, leading to 24 Spurs points this was the Warriors firing on all cylinders, taking care of business and looking extremely ready to wipe the sour taste of the conclusion of last season out of their mouths. Forced again to take the court without superstar forward caught High Leonard, who missed his third straight game after suffering a sprained left ankle in the third quarter of Game 1 of the series. Spurs coach Greg Popovich again shuffled his starting lineup in search of a season-prolonging spark. As he's done so many times over the last 14 years, he looked down his bench and reached for Gina Billy, his legendary Argentine sixth man, to slide into the starting lineup. In his first start in more than three years, the future Hall of Famer gave everything he had, finishing with 15 points on 6 for 12 shooting with 7 assists and 3 steals in 32 minutes of work before subbing out with just under 2 and 1 half minutes left in the 4th to a standing ovation from the adoring crowd at 80 and T center. Forward Kyle Anderson led San Antonio with 20 points in 27 minutes off the bench, but the Spurs just didn't have the firepower to go bucket for bucket with the league's best offense of the wear with all to slow it down. The Spurs' last lead was 4-2. They trailed by double figures for the bulk of the final three quarters. And when they made their last big push, cutting the Warriors' lead to 10 points on a jumper by little-used guard Fred Forbes that made it 85-75 to with 2.49 left in the third quarter, Golden State responded with a casual string of buckets, a Durant jumper, a Draymond 3, a Steph 3, and a Curry drive for a pair of free throws. That pushed the lead back to 20 less than two minutes later. Lamarcus Aldridge capped a disappointing series with 8 points on 4 for 11 shooting. Patty Mills, of whom much was asked after Parker suffered his season-ending quad injury, again struggled to shake loose of the defense of Thompson, scoring 14 points on 4 for 13 shooting. Jonathan Simmons, a revelation earlier in the series who likely made himself a ton of money in restricted free agency with his play in place of the injured Leonard, added 13 points on 5 for 15 shooting. In wrapping up their third straight sweep of this playoff run, the Warriors improved to 12-0.
topping the 1989 and 2001 Los Angeles Lakers for the longest winning streak to open a single postseason. They now await the winner of the Eastern Conference Finals between the Cleveland Cavaliers and Boston Celtics. Cleveland, the team the Warriors beat to win the 2015 NBA Championship and to whom Golden State lost the 2016 title, and the opponent everyone in the NBA watching world has expected to see standing across the ring from the Dubs come June, leads the series 2-1. They'll be waiting a while, Game 1 of the finals won't happen until June 1st. When it does tip off, though, it'll do so at Oracle Arena, hosted by a team featuring the most fearsome collection of offensive talent in the league, one that has outscored its postseason opposition by more points than any team ever has entering the championship round, one that also comes attached to the stingiest defense in the playoffs, and one that has gone 27-1 since March 12th and that is awaiting with bated breath the opportunity to keep its historic dominance rolling in pursuit of a second title in three years.